I'm Jamila Musaeva, an international social etiquette consultant and the author of the book Etiquette, the least you need to know. Today's video is the second part of the series of videos dedicated to shoes. Today we're going to be talking about different etiquette rules regarding shoes and at the end I'm going to show you some of my favorite pair of shoes and how I wear them. Let's start with some etiquette rules. A lot of people ask me, uh, is there really any etiquette rules about shoes? And reality is that there are, and there are quite a few of them. So let's start with the first one. Uh, rule number one is the choice of your shoe. So which shoe are you supposed to wear to what kind of event? The degree of formality, the venue, and even the time of the day will dictate you what kind of shoe you have to wear. The rule of thumb is that the more of your feet is exposed and the lighter the color, the most formal is the shoe. So the opposite is true. The more darker is the color of the shoe and the more close it is, the more formal is the shoe. You have to go for a job interview and you have to make a choice between an open toe or a closed toe shoe. I would always urge you to go for a closed toe shoe. Say you're going for a wedding and the dress code is black tie and you have a choice between an open toe shoe that looks like this or a closed toe shoe that looks like this. You should opt for a closed toe shoe looking like this because a shoe that is closed and that is of a darker color is deemed to be more formal. Remember how I said that the time of the day will also dictate you what kind of shoe you have to wear. Generally speaking, daytime shoes have heel size smaller than 10 centimeters. I would suggest them wear from three to seven centimeters height. For evening times, the shoes can be much higher, so 10 centimeters and above. Now imagine you're going on a date during daytime and you have to make a choice between a shoe that has a heel size like this or a shoe that has a heel size much longer. Which one do you think you should opt for? Of course this one. These ones are better to be worn in the evening. The biggest etiquette debate that is going over regarding shoes is whether or not one should take them off before entering someone's house. This is a very culturally sensitive topic and I would even go further to say that it varies from a household to a household. So say a family in, in Spain um, could have a rule that you have to take your shoes off whereas other families in Spain could be fine with you walking around in your shoes. So you have to be very attentive to what your host does at his or her home. Generally speaking, most Asian, South Asian and Middle Eastern cultures require that you take your shoes off before entering someone's house. This is because the soles of the shoes are deemed to be dirty and therefore they should never enter a sacred place, that being your house as well. So taking off your shoes is important before entering a mosque, a temple, but also someone's house. Actually, in Middle East and in Thailand, the soles of your feet are also considered to be dirty and they should never be pointed at someone, so that means you shouldn't elevate your feet at the eye level of someone else. In most of North America, it's acceptable to remain in your shoes when entering someone's house. I remember as a kid, I was completely perplexed when I was watching Hollywood movies and seeing different stars walk around their houses with their shoes on or um, never actually taking them off. Uh, so as a student then in America, I was struck when I saw students in the lecture hall putting their shoes or their feet up on the chair. This is something that has never been permissible in my culture, in my country, um, especially when there's an elder in the room. Your feet should never be up on a chair. So this is something that struck me a lot as a student in America. Uh, I would say it was a cultural shock. But now I understand that it comes from the etiquette rules that are very specific to each country. So when in doubt, you should pay attention to what your host does. Say you're invited to someone's home and you don't know, do I take my shoes off or do I keep them on? What you have to do is watch your host. Does he or she have their shoes on? If they do, then keep them on. If not, then take them off. If you're in doubt and you see other guests are taking them off, then opt for taking them off. Because in most countries, in most cultures, it's better to take them off than to leave them on. So that's about the shoe debate. And now let's go about hygiene. Hygiene is a very important element of etiquette. I would say it's the biggest component when it comes to shoe etiquette, bag etiquette, and really your personal image. So how do I keep my shoes clean? An important 
element or aspect of my hygiene regarding shoes is keeping not only the outside of the shoe clean but also the inside. Of course, a beautiful pair of shoe that is not clean from the outside will make a very bad impression. But even if it's clean from the outside and there is an occasion when you have to take them off and someone gets to see the inside of your shoe, then that's when you have the chance to really shine and make a very good impression by keeping it clean. With the shoes that you're wearing without any socks, especially during spring or summertime when your feet tend to get sweaty and they leave stains inside of your shoes, as soon as you get home, take them out, take a cotton swab and a bit of water. Sometimes you might even have to use a makeup remover when it's a very old stain and you have to clean the insides of your shoe. As soon as you clean the insides, turn them around, use a towel, wet towel, to pat down the soles of your, of your shoes in order to keep them clean in your wardrobe. Also, it helps them from wearing out. Then take a piece of paper, wrap it around, make it into a ball, tuck it inside the shoe and leave it like that so it keeps the shape of the shoe intact for the time that you're storing it in your wardrobe or you have it on a display on a shelf. This is particularly important for shoes like boots that have a certain rigid structure that has to be kept throughout the whole season. Before I show you my favorite pair of shoes, I want to tell you three things that I pay attention to when buying shoes. Number one is comfort. I always need to be comfortable in shoes, no matter how gorgeous they are, I will not buy them unless I feel completely comfortable in them. Number two is I always pay attention to colors. So I opt for more neutral colors, or I would say the colors that would go almost with anything. So beige, black, or white are my favorites. And then I can sometimes purchase something more colorful. You'll see it in the video that I only have one of that kind. Um, and so the rest are pretty plain. And the third thing that I pay attention to is obviously how often I can wear them. So that includes how many seasons I can wear them and to how many different occasions that I can wear them. When choosing shoes, I make sure that I can wear them through at least two seasons and also to at least two different kind of events. So formal to semi-formal or casual to semi-casual. So that's about it. Now let's look at my favorite pair of shoes. Actually, for this video, I'm going to keep the same outfit on and just change my shoes to prove a point that a pair of shoes can really upgrade or downgrade your outfit. So my favorite pair of shoes are ballerina flats, as I already told in my previous video. I love this because they're very comfortable. They can go with your work outfit. You can wear it for casual dates and even for walks in the park. So these are my favorite pair of shoes and I love wearing them with jeans, with dresses and everything really. So these are oval toe, sling back, block heel shoes and I love them because they are perfect for work but they are so comfortable that I can wear them throughout the day and they really glam up the outfit, make it a little bit more dressy and I can even wear it for some dates as well. So it's very versatile and it's very comfortable to wear. This is also my very favorite pair of shoe. They are perfect for really any occasion. Um, I can wear it for work, for some important business meetings, but I can also wear them for some weddings, uh, white tie events. Um, so these are pointed toe, they are glossy and they have stiletto shoes. And the perfect part about it is that it's quite classy, it's very basic, but with a touch of gloss, it just adds that extra spice that I need when going for weddings. So these are my favorite ones and I wear them quite often. This pair of shoes is very special to me. It reminds me of always Carrie Bradshaw and the whole wow moment when she steps out in these shoes. So um, they're very comfortable. They're made of satin, so they're very delicate. They have embellishment on top. They're close toe and close back. And they have a very nice mid, I would say mid length heel, which makes it very comfortable to wear. I love to wear them for events, um, like some weddings. It goes with almost everything, almost any neutral color dress. And they're quite versatile as well. You can even wear them with a pair of jeans and white t-shirt. So they're quite universal and they're a classic. 
So these are wide sandals with an ankle strap and a mid-length heel. They're very comfortable. They're perfect for cocktail parties, for any kind of floral dresses. They go well with jeans. Um, they can be worn in spring and summer, and they almost go with anything because they're of a white color, and they perfectly match any kind of a floral dress you might wear in the summer. As I switch now to sneakers, you can see how quickly my whole look just downgraded, became more less formal and more comfortable. Uh, I love this pair of sneakers because they're white and they can go almost with anything. And uh, as a busy mom and as I walk a lot with kids, I usually opt for either ballerina flats or sneakers when I'm just with them. So they're super comfortable and since it's not very cold in fall or spring in Azerbaijan, I wear them almost all seasons, sometimes including in winter. And so here's the final pair of shoes that I simply love because they're so comfortable and so stylish and they pretty much go with anything. Um, I wear these boots almost, so before I say how often I wear them, these are ankle length boots and the perfect part about them is that I wear them almost through whole seasons, fall, winter, spring, um, not in summer because in summer it's really hot over here in Azerbaijan, but the rest of the seasons I wear them and I wear them with jeans, dresses, pants, anything really. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really read every single comment and I love to hear your feedback. So if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about, please mention them in your comments. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and like this video. And I'll see you in the next. Bye.